Debbie Reynolds, that fabulous star of the hit movie Singing in the Rain, and so many more wonderful films. Well, right here at this London hotel, exclusive I might point out, was the venue that I first met the Hollywood legend. Hi Neil, Sean here. Well yes, right here was the place where I was lucky enough to meet that famous MGM star Debbie Reynolds. Now she was in town to promote a one-woman show at the Apollo Theatre. But what really followed was a wonderful friendship and more importantly lots and lots of tales from the golden age of Hollywood. Now Debbie herself will be the first to admit that she liked to exaggerate a particular story, particularly if it gave it more of an edge. She was a natural performer as her shows proved at the Apollo. They were a great success, very funny and of course many many tales good and bad about some of the world famous stars that she was lucky enough to meet, perform with and more importantly mix with in the golden age of Hollywood. Little quips about her husband Eddie Fisher really went down well with the crowd. But it was one story here that she told me while we were just having a short break in filming that really kind of stunned me and I'd never heard of it before. So going back through the tapes I thought I'd share it with you. Now, when she signed on for Singing in the Rain, she was very young, a mere 19 years old. And of course, the story, according to Debbie, goes that she was brought into the MGM Studios to meet with the other star of the musical, Gene Kelly. Louis B. Mayer was there and he basically said, this is your new co-star, teach her to dance. Well, what really transpired was that wasn't the story at all. Louis B. Mayer had kind of more or less left the studio by the time Singing in the Rain really got under production. It was now headed by a new person who wasn't particularly keen on musicals. But Arthur Freed, the main man of musicals at MGM, knew how to make a hit. And more importantly for MGM at that time, make a lot of money, as Debbie basically told me. So what went on after that was simply this. Debbie then said, well, before her, they had decided on quite a few other people. Now, Gene Kelly himself was very keen on another big legend, a person who he cited as giving him his very big break in Hollywood, none other than the very brilliant Miss Judy Garland. Now, Judy and Gene had appeared in a movie, well, Judy's final film for MGM, called Summer Stock, and it had been plagued with all sorts of problems, Judy turning up late, fluctuating weight, that sort of thing. Now everybody remembers that particular movie for a standout production and a song and dance which really became iconic not just in the film world but for Judy Garland herself and that of course was the brilliant Get Happy. But for Debbie herself she told me she wasn't first choice. In fact Judy Garland was the person that Gene Kelly really would have liked to have co-starred with in Singing in the Rain. They decided that a triple hit of stars, Judy, Jean and Donald O'Connor would be, well, kind of ensuring box office success. But what sadly transpired, as we now know, is that Judy Garland herself really had a lot of problems at that particular time. She got fired from MGM, but then rebounced back, came to London at the London Palladium and opened as a smash on Vaudeville once again. Now, Debbie got a big break because of that, and Judy and Debbie would often meet and laugh about that particular incident. Judy herself wasn't a bitter person at all. She said she liked the idea of co-starring with Jean again, but at that point they hadn't got a full idea of just how Singing in the Rain would be. Now Debbie told me that while they were making the movie, they had no idea also just how iconic the movie would become. She admitted she knew it was a special movie, but then again she was 19 young and basically starting out. And what a tutor to have in the wonderful Gene Kelly teaching you to dance. She said that although it came out to good reviews and very good box office, it took a few years for the movie to climb up to become a well-loved and more importantly, iconic movie that it is today. Now Debbie herself of course went on to great success, in fact she got a Life magazine cover and she went on herself to become a recording star with the track Tammy. But as she told me, she owed it all to the fact that MGM basically needed to cut costs, they had her under contract and more importantly someone was willing to teach her to dance and that person was of course Gene Kelly. That's the inside track from Debbie Reynolds herself, the star of Singing in the Rain and how she became its star after quite a few others, including the legendary Judy Garland, had to pass Neil Sean, London.